Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our channel Sugar Engineering. I hope you are doing great. Today, we will discuss about the topic Effluent Treatment Plant. In this topic, we will cover all the process and equipments of Effluent Treatment Plant. Effluent Treatment Plant covers the mechanisms and processes used to treat such waters that have been contaminated in some way by anthropogenic industrial or commercial activities prior to its release into the environment or its reuse. This effluent contains several pollutants, which can be removed with the help of an effluent treatment plant. ETP treat water and make free from all objectionable impurities present in suspension, colloidal or dissolved form. Need to treat effluent to prevent groundwater pollution, prevent seashore, prevent soil, prevent marine life, protection of public health, to reuse the treated effluent for agriculture, for groundwater recharge, industrial recycle, solving social problems caused by the accumulation of wastewater. Major treatment units in effluent treatment plant. 1. Preliminary treatment. This treatment includes screens, detriter or scrapers, grit chamber, skimming tanks and aeration. 2. Primary treatment. Primary treatment includes sedimentation or settling tank, clarifloculator, equalization tank, and the neutralization tank. 3. Secondary treatment. It includes activated sludge process, ASP, trickling filter, multiple evaporator plant, and rotating biological contactors, RBC. 4. Tertiary treatment. It includes sand or membrane filters, activated carbon filters, disinfection, ion exchange, or ESP, and nutrient removal. Preliminary treatment removes gross solids and materials that can be easily collected from the effluent and can damage or clog the pumps and skimmers of primary treatment clarifiers. These are inorganic materials and insoluble organic pollutants, i.e. large floating and suspended solid matter, grit, oil and grease, which are inert and cause problems to further chemical and biological treatments. All preliminary treatment consists of physical separation techniques by controlling flow rate of effluent. Primary treatment consists of temporarily holding the sewage in an inert basin where heavy solids can settle to the bottom while oil, grease, and lighter solids float to the surface. The settled material go for sludge treatment and floating materials are skimmed off. The remaining liquid is passed to secondary treatment. Tanks are usually equipped with mechanically driven scrapers that continually drive the collected sludge towards a hopper in the base of the tank where it is pumped to sludge treatment facilities. At this stage, over 70% of the suspended solids and 40% of the BOD is removed from effluent. Equalization Tank Some industries produce different types of wastes, having different characteristics at different intervals of time. Hence, Equalization tank is used to mix different type of effluent thoroughly to produce homogeneous and equalized effluent for uniform treatment. These are large holding tanks with aeration or mechanical agitation with paddles manually to give better mixing of the different unit volumes of effluents. The effluent is hold and mixed for specified period of time. Neutralization tank is used to provide treatment to highly acidic or highly alkaline effluent through neutralizing pH by addition of chemicals. Industry require neutralization of discharged effluent when it has as highly acidic and or highly alkaline effluent. Acidic effluent is usually treated with limestone or lime slurry or caustic soda, depending upon the type and quantity of effluent. Alkaline effluent is neutralized by sulfuric acid or CO2 or waste boiler flue gas. Secondary treatment is a biological treatment of effluent which is typically performed by indigenous, waterborne microorganisms in a managed habitat. Secondary treatment removes dissolved and suspended organic, bio-degradable matter by consuming it as a food and convert it into new cell mass, energy, and CO2. The most common microorganisms are bacteria, aerobic or anaerobic, protozoa and rotifers. Least common are fungi and algae. After secondary treatment, almost 70 to 90% of BOD and 80 to 90% of dissolved solids are removed from effluent. In trickling filter treatment, 
wastewater is sprayed through sprinkling rotating arm on circular beds consist of 3 to 10 feet deep coarse media of crushed stones, gravels, or synthetic material. Microorganisms get attached and grows on the media and results in formation of film of micro, organisms called zooglial film. This zooglial film consists of millions of microorganisms break down organic material of effluent into simple and soluble matter. Treated effluent is drained at bottom from where it is collected then undergoes for sedimentation. It is simple to operate and give almost 80 to 90 percent of BOD removal with high quality effluent. Activated sludge process. This is most versatile biological oxidation method employed for the treatment of effluent containing of dissolved solids, coarse and colloidal organic matter. In this method, Effluent is aerated in a reaction tank consist of microbial population in suspension form. Aerobic bacteria degrades effluent into CO2 and H2O for which oxygen is supplied through mechanical aeration or by diffused aeration system. The bacterial flora grows and remains suspended in the form of a flock called activated sludge. A part of sludge is recycled for the same tank to provide an effective microbial population for a fresh treatment cycle. Tertiary treatment is the final treatment, meant for polishing the effluent and removal of pollutants not removed in primary and secondary treatment. Also removes organic materials contributing BOD, COD, color, taste, odor, bacteria, viruses, colloidal solids contributing turbidity, or soluble minerals which may interfere with subsequent reuse of the wastewater. Preferred when treated water is need to be reused or discharge is into a highly sensitive or fragile ecosystem, estuaries, rivers, coral reefs. Filtration is process of removing particulates and bacterial impurities that could not be removed in earlier treatment from water by passing it through a porous medium. It is used to remove colloidal and other impurities which impart turbidity to water. Also, for disinfection of water by reducing 90% of bacterial load. It is also used to reduce odor and color by arresting them in filter media. Selection is totally dependent upon characteristics of wastewater, efficiency of absorbent, flow rate and pollutant to be removed from wastewater. Activated Carbon Filters ACF consists of activated carbon granules supported by very fine quartz filter media. Various grades of carbon are available for specialized treatment of wastewater. ACF are used to remove free chlorine, organic residues, toxic heavy metal ions and color from wastewater. Most common adsorbents used are activated carbon, peat moss, brown coal and other cellulose materials. This treatment not only improves taste of water, but also protects other water treatment units such as reverse osmosis membranes and ion exchange resins from possible damage due to oxidation or organic fouling. Conclusion Different types of industrial wastewater is treated by effluent treatment plant for environmental and public health safety. Major treatment procedures are preliminary, primary, secondary, and tertiary treatments. After the effluent treatment wastewater should be evaluated with different parameters of temperature, pH, total dissolved solids, TDS, COD, BOD, ammoniacal nitrogen. 4. Topic, ETP in PDF document. Contact us on email id sugarengineering.nsi at gmail.com. Like and subscribe our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.